Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, Chris, here from the Bird Cub. Today we have a LEGO Store with set review. It is the Carbon Freezing Chamber from Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. This is set 75137. Its recommended ages are 7 to 12, and it has 231 pieces. And retails for $25. And I said this in my review of Duel on Abu. I like that LEGO is doing these $25 sets. So that, uh, you know, with three minifigures, uh usually from a good scene in the movies like so far they've made Vader Transformation this one, the Freezing Chamber uh, Duel Nabu and the Assault on Hoth set or Attack on Hoth or Hoth Battle something along those lines um, and I like that they've been doing that so let's jump into this review we have first the Ugna and I like these guys they're cool they also appear in Star Wars Rebels so if you're making, you know, a stop motion video, you can always throw these guys in. Uh, I believe one in Star Wars Rebels was, like, made a deal with Hondo and Akka. Um, so, yeah. So this Ugnaught is an entirely new minifigure. This is the first Ugnaught we've ever seen. And I'd say he looks pretty cool. Um, he is overall similar to Bodhi Rook from Rogue One. Um, not much to compare to on this figure because we haven't gotten one, uh, but he has a lot of spots. This figure looks great. I like that they have an exclusive figure in the set, and that is cool. I believe all these figures are new, I actually. Uh, actually, not sure about the Boba. I think the Boba... I think the Boba came in Slave 1, but it had arm burning in Slave 1. So I guess this one is a different version, but it's a downgraded version, and the Han is new, I believe. So we'll, then we'll go with Han Solo. And this Han Solo does have his brown pants, but does not have his holster, because it has been taken from him in the scene in the movie, because he's been captured. He has his standard brown hair that he has had for every single Han Solo minifigure, except for the one in the Death Star, I believe it was, in the in the new Death Star, the uh, $500 one. <laughs> um, he has had this shirt for a while, or this, uh, this torso, so uh, nothing new there. This is a new face. It's him, right before he goes in the carbonite, he's a little bit worried. And then on the other side of the face, we have him, basically when he wakes up from carbonite in episode 6. Um, he's, he's asleep, he's, uh, yeah, he's, he's out of it. Uh, and then, it, n not to, you know, he's stone cold. <laughs> Um, then we have Boba Fett, who is my favorite minifigure of the set. He has his blaster. He has a black lightsaber hilt. Uh, he has a black pistol that the clone troopers, well, I don't know if they carry them anymore, but they used to carry, um, because they've made too many clone troopers. Uh, Boba Fett helmet. I don't think this one is new. I think we saw this before. Um, he's got his clone face. He's got this new... Uh, cloth on the side, green jetpack that he's had for a while now, um, man green Mandalorian armor that he, you know, he painted, and then right here, I don't know if you guys can tell, it, it looks a little bit like a ponytail, I know that he, Boba Fett got that from, it's like a trophy, if you slay some kind of beast, I forget what it's called, but he, he got that as a trophy for doing that, we got some nice leg printing here, and on the back he has the rest of his armor. So now we can just jump right into the set. Uh, let's put both back together. And let's do this. So we'll take you guys off the set. <laughs> Oops. And this fell too. That's not good. Sorry about that. Just putting that back together. Um. So we're we'll going to start up here. We, you know, you go through steps. These are well designed steps. They're simple. They're just two stairs put together and they got the orange on there. But it still looks good. Um, then you go up here. And you have. Let me, I'll lift up the camera actually. Um, up here you have a control panel here. This is where the Ugnaught kind of, you know, taps away at the keys, starting the carbon freezing. <laughs> Over here we have this elevator that goes up, and 
what you do is you just pull this thing, it goes up, and then it doesn't stay. So what you want to do is if you want it to stay, you just kind of flip, the, flip this thing around, and bam, it stays. Um, right here is a cool thing where if you pull this out, and here I'll show you the whole thing. If you pull this out and turn it, you get the back. Now that may not look that great, but you can put Han Solo in there. And this is more play feature. You you know you can pretend that there's no carbonite behind him and he's about to jump in. Um, and then you can always like, pull this down, flip it, flip it around, and bam. Uh, so that carbonate piece is cool. I I haven't had one before this, so now it's cool that I get to have that. Um, back here, not too much going on back here except for this little spot right here that folds up and down and you're supposed to put Han on that he doesn't fit real well so it doesn't really work um, I'm not even gonna try here because it doesn't he doesn't fit but uh, you can always put something on there um, one thing that I noticed about this that was cool is if you if you were to buy another one of these then you could put them like back to back and then take out one of the things right here and then you would have like a full circle of the carbon freezing tumor so I thought that was cool if you uh, if you wanted to buy two of these then you could do that so that is it for this review I'm gonna give this set an A plus because it is a great set I'm super happy that uh, the set is good and uh, so don't forget to subscribe comment like and I will see you guys in the next one